Whoa! Where are we? Oh no! We're in Little Chicago! That's right. Every city's got a little Chicago. Our proud Chicago immigrants migrated here in search of a new home in a sunshine state over here, where we could recreate the same deep dish progressive policies we left behind. Why would you do that? Oh, besides the frostbite, the laws are everybody's favorite part of Chicago. Ron, this place seems kind of dangerous. Oh, dangerous? Why? Because Fox News told you Chicago was dangerous? No, because we've been here for 30 seconds and you're already getting mugged. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, ow! Oh. Why would they do this to me? Oh, I'm an ally! Well, as an ally, you'll be happy to know that if apprehended by the police, none of your muggers will have to pay cash bail. They'll just be let back onto the streets. All thanks to the Safety Act. That's good? Ow! Uh, well, requiring police to wear body cameras is good. And there's a good argument that the current bail system makes it easier for rich people to get away with committing crimes. But a decent idea or supposedly good intention is not enough to save this piece of legislation from being a complete disaster. But it promotes equity. I don't know about that. My home equity went way down since this got passed. That's right, equity courses drew to heart a little Chicago. Just like the proud sausage that clogs those same arteries. But the Safety Act also abolishes cash bail for violent crimes like second degree murder, arson, drug induced homicide, kidnapping, and aggravated battery. What's safe about this Safety Act? Maybe call it the Crazy Act instead. They're leaving out a very important chite down detail. That before bail is set, It'll be up to a judge to determine whether the suspect poses a threat to any person or the community. Sure, act like the murder suspect ain't a danger to nobody but the person he already done killed. What are y'all thinking? A man's gotta be secure in his person and property and have faith that what he has is his own and can't be robbed from him at any moment. Whether that's his life, liberty, or property. Under any other such paradigm, how else could we expect man to orient himself towards the long-term modes of thinking which are necessary in order to produce any of the things that our society values? Uh, sure. Florida man, looks like your gator needs a new tail there. I got the hookup. Consider it a gift. Remember where you got it from. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.